A $1 million baseball has been missing for over 60 years and nobody can find it. So in 1960, Bill Mazurowski of the Pirates hit the only Game 7 walk-off home run in World Series history against the Yankees. It's a top 10 baseball moment, but what happened to the home run ball sounds like a new Sandlot script. On October 13, 1960, this 14-year-old kid from Pittsburgh named Andy had the craziest day of his life. Andy was a huge Pirates fan, and as soon as school ended that day, he ran over to Forbes Field to try to watch Game 7. He didn't have a ticket, but he was able to sneak in and watch from right field. The game was an all-time classic. It was tied going into the bottom of the ninth, but Andy realized he was late for dinner, so he immediately left. Then, when Andy was walking outside of the left field wall, he heard a loud noise, and a few seconds later, a baseball landed right in front of him. It was Bill Mazurowski's walk-off home run ball to win the Pirates their first World Series in 35 years. A cop then escorted Andy to the Pirates' clubhouse, where he joined the team for their celebration, and when he saw Mazurowski, he told Andy to keep the ball. Andy then brought it home, but that next spring when he went to the park with his buddies, they realized he didn't have a baseball. They convinced Andy to use the World Series ball, and he ended up hitting it way into the woods. We gotta get that ball back. Forget about it, man. Yeah. Let's get another ball. No, you don't understand! He searched for hours and couldn't find it, and to this day, the ball has never been seen again.